What's good people, welcome to the Perfect Balance channel. If you haven't already done so by now, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that when we do upload videos, you are notified straight away. So sometimes YouTube doesn't notify people, so make sure you hit that notification bell whenever we drop some new content for you. So, for those that have already subscribed, we want to say a massive thank you. We are near that thousand subscriber mark. And I never thought within a couple of months of having a YouTube channel that we'd be hitting the near 1,000 subscriber mark. The stats and the, the analytics of our channel is just going through the roof. So uh, for myself, I just want to say a big thank you for those that uh, get involved and share the channel, uh, spreading the love. Uh, it doesn't go on notice. I see it every every day. People are uh, spreading the message out from our new our new page on our new channel. And speaking of new, we have our daily programming that we are starting with Fitar. So if you're in the CrossFit space, most of you guys will know what Fitar is. A lot of the leading uh, programmers and gyms are using Fitar now to keep all the exercise libraries all the community together keeping everything in one uh nice nice tidy place everything looking professional um so make sure you check out the home page of this channel we have the links for our programs we have other programs coming soon which we are yet to announce but a more of a private program will be coming for those that want to learn their new skills maybe are plateauing on certain skills and they want that extra one-to-one -one coaching more of a private program as i say so what i will do as well is i'll leave the links down below for you guys to check out our daily programming it is 15 pound per month and it is a generic program to build on strength and endurance around the skills that you may have so as particularly for the open if you guys have not noticed by now that adrian bosman since the 2022 crossfit game season has added a ton of new exercises so the difficulty between beginners intermediates and the elite keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger the gap keeps getting bigger so yeah if you're interested make sure you check out check that out the links will be down below so yeah the links will be down below if you are still struggling to find a program make sure you go over to our instagram page it's perfect balance 101 give us a dm and we'll make sure that we fix any issues that you may have any questions any queries as well for private coaching if you are looking for like i said the more one-to-one -one on your skills we haven't announced the programs as yet we have got everything nearly finished uh prices haven't been announced but we can help you guys out if you give us if you give us a dm we can fast track you guys onto onto those programs so yeah give give the word out if you're in the crossfit space if you're on the crossfit community share share the love share the message and let's get into this video so in this video i want to discuss confidence for certainly beginners this is aimed for maybe intermediates when it comes to a lot of skills with clients that i've worked with in the past or members i've worked with in the past a lot of the confidence issues comes particularly when it comes to upside down skills so your handstand push-ups your handstands uh, being able to even just kick up to a handstand against the wall. So talking about the psychology from a coach's standpoint, and this is just my advice that I would give you for you guys if you are starting out and you're a little bit worried about those particular skills. The best tip and the best advice I can give is give it three goes. About a third go if you don't manage to get the goal that you're working towards a small goal it should be then i would leave it after three goes don't do what a lot of people i have seen 
with other aspects of CrossFit, we'll keep trying and trying and trying and trying. A good coach would always say, enough's enough, take a step back, we'll work on this aspect, we'll break it down more, we'll go away and then we'll revisit it again at a later date. It's not going anywhere, rushing it's only going to give, particularly in gymnastics skills and gymnastics movements, rushing things, doing things scruffy and not technically sound is only going to give give you bad habits for other skills, more difficult skills. So, yeah, after th- after the third attempt, if it's still not successful or to where the goal for that session or that skill you want it to be, take a step back. And in particular, those that have high anxiety for being upside down in particular, I can't stress it enough. Just take that step back, strip it back, start again. If you have moments where you sort of have conquered the skill and then it sort of reverts back, revert all the way back to the beginning of basics depending on whichever skill it might be so for example if we're doing handstand and after say six weeks you're able to do a handstand with your back to the wall and you find that you're pretty comfy and then all of a sudden for whatever reason later on down the line you come into the gym you go to do your handstand with your back against the wall and you have a mental block you have a mental barrier that stops you for whatever reason it could be work it could be lifestyle it could be whatever whatever it is it that's either in the gym or out the gym you might have had uh, a poor repetition in other aspects of crossfit you might have had a bad workout you might be going through a bit of a rough spell with with your training and you might be getting a little bit frustrated so mental blocks can happen in particular with beginners or intermediates on our gymnastic skills so what i always tell my clients my members that we always start our elements on the floor so if you can't do it on the floor as basic as it might be if the if the technical cues and coaching aspects are not done correctly on the floor you shouldn't be doing it on the final skill or on the apparatus that you're using which for most of us in the crossfit space is going to be the rig the rings those sort of uh, pieces of apparatus which by the way as well for some the rig can be daunting uh, certainly for the smaller athletes uh, and you're beginning it can be a little bit daunting going from different uh, training rigs that you're used to at your own gym and then doing a competition where the rig could be two or three feet higher. So again, I can't express it enough that to take away from this video, because we're getting on for nearly 10 minutes now, to take away from this video, I can't stress it enough. If you're not successful in achieving whatever small goal in particular, mentally you should only be doing three attempts because after three attempts you're going to get bad habits you're going to get more of a mental block and then obviously with what comes with that is frustration and then self-esteem is going to be a little bit of an issue and you've got to put off that skill longer and longer and longer so if that is the case walk away from it after the third attempt build it up slowly in your class or in your additional programming build up slow take your time when it especially when it comes to skill acquisitions we want to build that confidence in particular when we come upside down skills and yeah just making sure that we keep a, a sound mental space and we come away thinking right i, I could have done worse i could have done worse off there where i'm gonna I'm get more of a mental block and when I come back to it, I'm not going to have any more barriers coming to it. I'm going to feel better next time. I know what I did this time. And then we come back to the next uh, the next practice in the whatever amount of days or coming weeks. Feeling more confident, feeling 
ready and more motivated than continuous failure, 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 failure. So hopefully you guys will take that advice on board. For those that, like I say, particularly beginners and advanced, I can argue for elite because there's a ton of new skills for elite, but typically for elite, they tend to have quite high confidence level anyway where it gets low confidence and reverted back again and i don't like using the word is consist consistently failing in in repetitions large amount of repetitions plays a lot on the psyche of of any gymnast whether that be in the functional space or the artistic space particularly artistic space where you've got so many complex skills so in CrossFit, we have obviously the condition skills from gymnastics, from artistic gymnastics, which is still a confidence factor, can still be a mental block, but the worlds are two massive differences in confidence in in, in uh, artistic and CrossFit. Now, if we can use the three-step rule, the three-step go in the artistic world, then we should definitely be using it in the CrossFit world as well. Uh, if it works in a more difficulty skill, it should work in, in a more simplistic uh, functional exercise world. So, if you like the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm still getting used to a camera in my face and a microphone. Uh, so, just to recap very, very quickly. Give it three goes. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Walk away from it. Revisit another day positive thinking always positive thinking strip it back to the very very beginning even if that means going back to uh, prerequisites on the floor typically most gymnastics work is done lying down on the floor for a handstand uh, that's just one example that I've used handstand but being upside down for most is the more confidence issues so for this example handstand it would be back to the floor working on uh, core aspects and coaching cues that a lot of the crossfit coaches know and will go through so revert back to that and yeah just making sure that we keep a low failure rate for a peaceful mind and a more confident mind so yeah, share this video if you are in particularly struggling with your psychology and your confidence being upside down or any gymnastics movement that is uh, or piece of equipment because like I said some of them are quite high they give this a share give this a share to someone who you know in the CrossFit community that's all I want to say I'll see you in the next video bye for now peace